What's up guys, Wizco Sports Craze here, coming to you with another Milwaukee Brewers recap video. Um, happy to report a 4-1 to one win over the Cincinnati Reds, and you know, like I said last night, putting the putting the foot on the throat of the Reds and, and holding it there and just, you know, getting getting these wins over them. This, this was a huge series. Um, I, I was slightly worried about it coming in because the Reds have been playing better, but the Brewers Brewers handle business, and, and without Eduardo Escobar and Willie Adamas in this in this series, I, I'm I'm so proud of them. A pitching staff tonight absolutely lights out. Brandon Woodruff, you know, back, bounce back start from his last start. He was shelled in his last start, but this this series he looked awesome. Uh, six innings pitched, four hits uh, all together. No runs and ten strikeouts. Brandon Woodruff was dealing tonight. They couldn't touch his fastball. He was dialing it up, you know, 97, 98, just through the zone. They couldn't touch him. Um, every hit off of him was, you know, fluke hits and bunts and all. It just it, nobody was barreling him up. They couldn't touch him tonight. Brandon Woodruff just spectacular. And 16 strikeouts as a staff tonight. They just continue to amaze me how great this pitching staff really is, bullpen included. You know, one run given up, Jake Cousins hung a slider in the ninth inning, and Nicholas Castellanos took him deep. It just didn't have any break on it. I can't really fault him because he saves Josh Hader from pitching tonight, and we all know how big that is because he can be used tomorrow in a potential sweep. Um, nine and a half lead, uh, game lead right now for the Brewers, just... Um, like I said, shutting the door on the Reds, just just keeping the foot on the throat. We have to, you know, as, as Matt Lafleur said, how do you say it? Uh, all 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 gas, no fucking break. <laughs> so you know, it it that's what the Brewers need to be right now. All gas, no break, baby. Just just hammer it down. Let's keep it going here. Keep it rolling. Um, Christian Yelich looks to be back to form. If you ask me, he's taking it to left field. He's taking it to all fields. I mean, he he just looks like he's back. He's barreling up the ball. He's he's getting good contact and uh, not striking out like he was. I, I think he's seen the ball again. I think you're going to see a resurgence of Christian Yelich, and it, the wonders that that will do for this offense is uh, unfathomable right now. I mean, imagine if you put 18 and 19 Christian Yelich with this squad. I, you know, we're gonna we're gonna win the World Series. I mean, that that's all he needed was a supporting cast behind him, and and that's not to say that he didn't in 18 and 19 because he had some phenomenal teams. But I think this team is better than that team with with our starting pitching this year and the bullpen. It's 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 the best team I've seen out of the Milwaukee Brewers. I, I as I've been a fan. And that's been a while, you know. I've seen I've seen the heartbreaking seasons where you know we've missed the playoffs for so many years or whatnot. But this team is legit. This team has a legit a uh, chance to win a World Series. I, I really do believe that. I mean, with everything we got with our Craig Council is an amazing manager. He knows how to push the right buttons at the right time. He can just dial it up. Everything seems to be working for the Brewers right now, and we're on a different level than the Cincinnati Reds, and that showed in this series with both teams being pretty hot but the Brewers handling business and hopefully we can get the sweep tomorrow with uh, Brett Anderson going against Sonny Gray. Obviously, we struggled against Sonny Gray in the past. I hope we can get to him a little bit. Not at, not end of the world if we, you know, if we take a loss tomorrow because we have the nine and a half game cushion and that would drop it to eight and a half and still a big, big lead over the Reds. And I, I really just, I don't think there's much of a chance for the Reds to win this division. I think the Brewers have it handily right now but that's not to say we can let up because we've seen collapses in the past we know what can happen brewers all gas no break baby keep it rolling here you know um you guys got to go check out the highlights obviously Ayo garcia with an amazing robbery catch in the uh, eighth inning to save devin williams from giving up a homer to max Strock. um you know avi <laughs> he jumped over that fence and it, you guys will just have to see it it was an amazing catch Abby Garcia continues to he he continues to amaze me with his play with for the Brewers he is he's just, I hope we can retain him after this year because there's a chance that he can get out but I don't see why he would really want to you know if unless he's gonna go make the money elsewhere um, Brewers need to look into paying him because he is I mean what would you do would if Castellanos opted out would that be an option I mean the Brewers no we don't have the 
the money the Dodgers and the Cubs have to spend, but you know, we got to th- we got to think about our own team and what makes us better. So we need Avi Garcia, and he's just continued to perform for us, and he he's he's a lifesaver. Um, but yeah, like, like I said, just and all together, just awesome performance tonight from the whole team. Um, really just shutting down the Reds and the pitching staff. I, I just can't say enough about them and what they've done for this team and what really makes us a true contender and for a World Series. I mean, definitely a NL pennant, but I just – this team has it all. I mean, the clutch hits, the the manager that puts them in that position, the, you know, the pitching, they have, they have everything they need to win a World Series, and I, I couldn't be more excited about them. Um, that pretty much does it for today. Awesome series win over the Cincinnati Reds going for the sweep tomorrow. Like I said, um, it's it's going to be a big one, but it's not in the world if we lose. Uh, but I appreciate you guys uh, for watching this, and I appreciate all the support. And if you could like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the absolute world to me. I would love to do this somewhat full-time in the, in the future, you know, in the near future at that. Um, uh, I can't do every recap because of my work schedule. I'll continue to say that because I, I, if you guys like to watch this stuff, I love to do it. I love to talk, you know, Wisconsin sports and especially the Brewers and how, how awesome they've been this year. Um, but I will try to get you guys as much content as I can. And until next time, go Brew Crew. This is my crew, baby.